Hello everybody, this video is a Fortnite guide. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to play Fortnite and what it's all about. And I'm gonna include a combat guide with three combat tips and a building guide with three building tips. This video is made to educate you on what Fortnite's about and how to get better at it. Well, without any further ado, let's get into it. First off, I'm gonna tell you what Fortnite is all about and how you play it. So, Fortnite is a battle royale game. That means the last team standing wins. You start in a battle bus that is flying over the island and you jump out and pick a spot to land. Once you land there, you gear up and get everything you need for the rest of the game. You can get guns, ammunition, and materials to fight off opponents. So what do you do with those guns and materials? So. With your guns, you can shoot at opponents and try to eliminate them. Once they are eliminated, they drop every single thing that they were holding, so you can take their loot. With that loot, you can fight other opponents. And if you're taking fire and you don't have any cover, you can build. And this wall, you cannot walk through it and bullets can't go through it. So you can build your own barricades in Fortnite. And then you can take shots off from those barricades. And then once you're the last person alive, you get the victory royale or the win. So that is a basic understanding of Fortnite. And the rest of the video, I'm gonna show you three combat tips put into a combat guide and three building tips put into a building guide so you can have more tips to win Fortnite. With those tips, you can get better at the game and also get wins. The tips are made to make life in Fortnite easier. So you can have a better combat strategy and a better building strategy. Well, without any further ado, let's get into the combat and building tips. Combat Guide. What does a combat guide do? This combat guide is holding three combat tips that are the most efficient ways of eliminating opponents. Let's start. Combat tip number one is the pump to SMG. The point of the pump to SMG is to hit your opponent with a lot of damage and then follow it up with small damage that's very fast. The pump does 70 damage per second while the tactical SMG does 260 damage per second. So in two seconds, mathematically, you can do 330 damage. So another tip is whenever you're shooting, you should try to get the right-handed peek on your opponent. So if I'm going around the wall with an opponent behind it, which there is an opponent behind it, I should go around the right side so I can peek around with the right side of the screen. So there's an opponent back there, so let's use the pumped SMG strategy. So we're going to hit them with the pump and then switch to our SMG. As you can see, it does 200 damage extremely fast. Now, let's move on to combat tip number two. Combat tip number two. So, our opponent's behind that wall over there. But a shotgun does not reach that far, and an SMG will not do that much damage from this far away. What can we do? So, when you're this far away, you should use a sniper. Snipers have a scope, and they can go really far. But, something special about the heavy sniper is that it can break walls with one shot. Even the strongest materials, like metal. And, let's say you find two heavy snipers right next to each other. You eliminate someone that has a heavy sniper when you already had one. And then you see an enemy really far away behind a wall. Combat tip number two is the double heavy sniper strategy. This will work with one of your friends if you're playing a duo game or by yourself if you're playing a solo game. So because the heavy sniper can break a wall with one shot, this first one will break the wall and the second one will damage him. So if you can't find two heavy snipers, you could always break the wall, reload as fast as you can, and hope that they didn't build another wall. So, 
the strategy will start out with me breaking the wall and then switching to the other sniper and hitting the snipe. So let's see how it would work. So, as you can see, because the heavy sniper reloads so slow, double heavy sniper is a very good combat tip to eliminate someone behind a wall who is very far away. He was 133 meters away, about. So yeah, let's move on to the combat tip number three. Combat tip three. So combat tip one and two relied off RNG, random number generator, and getting really good loot. So what if you only have a slow shooting gun? That is what combat tip number three is for. Combat tip three is to use cover while you're shooting. So the pump shoots like this. So that is very slow, but you can use the cover while you're doing the pump action. So I would shoot, go behind the wall, shoot, go behind the wall, shoot, go behind the wall. So there is an opponent behind that wall and let's use this strategy. Combat tip number three, this strategy, can also be used if you're using a gun that shoots fast, but you have to reload. While you're reloading, you don't want to take a bunch of hits from their bullets. You should go behind a wall, reload your guns, and then go in front of the wall and shoot them once your gun's fully reloaded. So let's see what this looks like. So, this opponent didn't even have time to shoot me because I was using the wall to my advantage. So you can also use this strat when you are reloading weapons. So if I had an AR, for example, an assault rifle, it shoots very fast. Not as fast as an SMG, but faster than a shotgun. So you'd shoot your AR at them, but when you have to reload, you'd go behind the wall, reload, and then go back to shoot them. So this one is just to say, use cover while you're shooting and be smart about it. So what if you don't have cover placed? That is what building guides are for. Now let's go to building guides. All right, so now we're on building guides. What's a building guide used for? So in this building guide, I'm going to teach you some building strategies to get good positioning on your opponent and be able to use some of the combat guides and kill your opponent. So let's start off with building tip number one. Building tip number one. What should I do if I am at low ground and an opponent is in a tower at high ground? A 90 is what you can do. A 90 is when you build up and go 90 degrees and up in any direction. You can go to the right or you can go to the left. So doing this, you can go up, directly up, vertically, and you can be safe about it. So using the 90, it does use a little bit more mats than building in a diagonal ramp, but it is more safe. So we're going to use the 90 to eliminate this opponent at high ground in this tower. So a 90 can be done in many ways, but I do the no floor under it just to save a little bit more materials than I already would have been wasting. So we're gonna go, oh, he's starting to shoot at me. So I start 90ing up. I will take jump fatigue, but then I can let the jump fatigue wear off. And oh, he shot me. But then I peek for one second and shoot him and eliminate him. And if this were a real game, I could easily build over there using a pyramid and a floor for extra safety precautions. And I could go loot him for his weapons that he had. But this isn't a real game, this is just for demonstration. Well, let's move on to building tip number two. Building tip number two. So in building tip number one, I was at low ground and my opponent was at high ground and we used the 90 to get high ground. But what if we're at high ground and we're getting shot down? We need to find the most efficient way to get down without taking fall damage. What we can do is a waterfall. It's when you use your wall 
and go down and then either use a floor or a stair to catch yourself and not take fall damage. Here is what you can do and then you can go eliminate your opponent after you are safely on the ground. So I'm gonna go waterfall and catch myself with the ramp. Waterfall, catch myself with the ramp. Waterfall, and I hit the floor and didn't take any fall damage. And there is an opponent there that we could go kill. So here is how you do the waterfall faster, all right? All right, so we're really high up and he's gonna try to shoot me down. I'm gonna go waterfall down, catch myself, waterfall down, catch myself, waterfall down, catch myself, and then kill him. So waterfalling is very good if you just wanna get down without taking any fall damage. So in building tip number one, we showed you how to use 90s to get higher than your opponent and take high ground and then be able to eliminate him. And in building tip number two, we showed you how to get down safely from high ground. But building tip number three is sort of like building tip number one, but what if you're not as close to them? So with building tip number one, you would 90. But if we 90'd here, we are still very far away from our opponent. So with building tip number three, we are going to ramp and use ramps to get closer to him as well as be structurally sound. Structurally sound just means without the risk of being knocked down easily, all right? So we're gonna show you what to do in slower motion and then I'm gonna show you how to do it in faster motion and eliminate our opponent that is very far away. So we have a ramp right here. What you can do is do this or if you're feeling just a little bit more advanced, you can do the same thing, but you put down a ramp in front of you. So what this is doing is it's making them have to shoot through your stair, which is one layer, your wall, which is two, this, which is three, and that, which is four. And then you will fall, and if this was a real game, die. So, but four layers is a lot to shoot through. And now we are going to do the one layer with four structures ramp okay so now we're going to rush them with one stair but four layers at a time in fast motion and yeah let's see how it looks all right so I'm gonna rush them with one layer but four different parts See, I'm getting higher on them as well as closer. And now that I have high ground, I can aim at him and shoot him. So this building tip is helpful when you are not that close to your opponent and you are at low ground. You can use a layered ramp rush to get closer to your opponent. The layered ramp rush and even if you forget to put some of your stairs, they still have to shoot two things. And then you'll get shot down. But yeah, so if you're closer to them, I would recommend 90s. But if you're not as close, I would recommend a ramp rush towards them. And if you're at high ground and you're about to get shot down, what you can do is waterfall down. And you are safely on the ground. So that was all of the building tips. Well, that was the Fortnite guide. What I did was I told you what Fortnite was, and I told you how you play it, and then I included two guides, one combat guide and one building guide. Each guide had three tips inside of it. So if you weren't aware what Fortnite was before this video, hopefully you did learn something about the game. And if you're new to playing it, hopefully you learned some tips and tricks on how to improve your skills. And always remember that if you're not good just yet, you can always practice and get better at the game. Well, it's been a nice video, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.